The first few months of winter in Colorado were very dry and our snowpack was thin. The snowpack near the ground changed into a pronounced weak layer made up of large grains known as depth hoar. Throughout the winter, small storms added a slab on top of this layer and we saw persistent slab avalanches that broke near the ground. These avalanches were large enough to injure a person, but they were relatively small as the overlying slab was only a few feet thick and not continuous enough to create large slope-wide avalanches. These avalanches were dangerous, but potentially survivable. This has now changed. Snowfall has accumulated to a point where large slabs are thick and continuous, and we are starting to see avalanches break hundreds of feet wide into the ground. The character of these very large and dangerous avalanches is known as deep persistent slab avalanches. You now see this avalanche problem on the front range and Vail and Summit County forecasts. All of the following photos are of avalanches that released in the last few days. The only way to stay safe from these very dangerous avalanches is to avoid terrain over 30 degrees on specific aspects and elevations where this problem exists. That means staying out from underneath these slopes as well. After every snowfall, we may see an increase in these large avalanches. As we go into periods of nice weather, we might not see any avalanches or observe any other obvious signs of instability, but the chance that you can trigger a large and deadly avalanche will remain. The snowpack this winter is unlike the last few winters. We have to look back to the winter of 2013-2014 to find the last time we saw numerous very large avalanches breaking at the ground. In that winter, there were eight avalanche fatalities in Colorado. The previous winter also had a deep persistent slab avalanche problem and we had 11 fatalities. These avalanche accidents can be avoided by recognizing that this winter is different and avoiding all slopes where we have this problem.